In this video, I want to have a look at regions in the number plane. So when we sketch a function or a relation, it divides the number plane into different regions. When we're asked to sketch an inequality, that means we're going to shade one of those regions in. And it's our job to determine which region satisfies that inequality. So when we're solving one of these problems, there's two things that we need to consider. The first one is the boundary of the curve or the region. So we're going to treat that inequality sign as if it's an equal sign and we'll sketch that curve. If the inequality sign was a less than an equal to or a greater than or equal to, then it's going to be a solid line that we draw our curve with. If it was just a greater than or a less than sign, it'll be a dotted line. Then we need to figure out which section, which region we're going to shade in. And we do that by testing a point that's not on the boundary. If that point satisfies the inequality, then we shade the region and that point lies in. First example we're going to look at asks us to sketch the region x squared plus y squared is less than 4. So we're going to pretend just for a second that that says x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, and we're going to graph this curve. So we should be able to recognise that that equation represents a circle that's centred at the origin and that has a radius of 2. Because this is a less than sign, when we sketch that circle, it's going to be a dotted line, not a solid line. All right, so we've got our rough sketch of our circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Now we need to decide whether we're going to shade inside that circle or outside the circle. So to do that, we're going to test a point. And it doesn't matter which point you test, as long as it's not on that boundary, so it doesn't lie on the circle. One point that's usually really nice to test is 0, 0. So let's test that. So we'll substitute 0 and 0 in for x and y. So we'll have 0 squared plus 0 squared is less than 4, which will just give us 0 is less than 4. And we know that that's true. So that mean, means that this point here in the centre does lie in the region. So we're going to shade in the centre of our circle. So that is the region that satisfies that inequality. Our second example asks us to sketch the region defined by two inequalities. We've got x plus y is greater than or equal to 2, and y is less than x squared. So we're going to graph each of those curves separately first, and then have a look at where their regions overlap. So this one, if we pretend for a second that that's x plus y is equal to 2, rearrange it so it's y equals minus x plus 2. That tells us that that equation represents a straight line with a gradient of minus 1 and a y-intercept of 2. So we'll sketch that. So that there is the line that represents x plus y is equal to 2. Our next curve, this one, we're going to pretend for a second that that's y equals x squared. And we know that that's a parabola that, um, with vertex at the origin. Now we're drawing this one with a dotted line because that inequality was a less than symbol. Whereas our straight line, we drew that as a solid line because it was a greater than or equal to symbol. That's y equals x squared. All right, so now we need to figure out a couple of things. We need to figure out where these lines cross over, and then we need to figure out which side of each of those curves we need to colour in. To figure out what these points of intersection are, we're going to solve these two equations simultaneously. So we've got x plus y is equal to 2, and we've got y is equal to x squared. We'll call that equation 1 and equation 2. Um, this one's probably going to be easiest to solve with um, substitution. So let's sub equation 2 into 1. So we're going to have x plus x squared is equal to 2. If we rearrange that, pull the 2 over the other side, we can have x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. If we factorise that, we'll have x plus 2 x minus 1 is equal to 0 which would give us then that x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 1. So that gives us the x-coordinates of those points. So that one there has an x-coordinate of minus 2. And this point of intersection here has an x-coordinate of 1. 
but we also want to know the y coordinates of those points as well. So if we substitute each of those x values back into one of our original equations, so let's sub um, x equals minus 2 into equation 2. So we'd have y equals minus 2 squared, which would give us 4. So that means that the y coordinate of that point is 4. And then if we do the same thing for that 1, so we'll sub y equals 1 squared, if we're still substituting it into that second equation, and we have y equals 1. So the y coordinate of that point there is 1 as well. All right, so we know the coordinates of those points now. We know where they cross over. Let's start figuring out our regions. So our regions, we want to know whether we're going to shade above or below that red line. So to do that, let's test a point. Um, so we're looking at this one first. Let's test the point 0, 0, because that's not on the line. So substituting that into this inequality, so we'd have 0 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 2. So 0 is greater than or equal to 2, but that doesn't make sense. So that means that the point 0, 0 isn't in the region defined by this inequality. And that's the one we're talking about, the straight line. So that means we're going to have to shade above the straight line. So we'll just put a few little arrows in there first. We're not going to shade in just yet. Then we want to test whether we're going to shade inside or outside of that parabola. So again, we need to pick a point. This time we can't use 0, 0 because 0, 0 lies on our boundary. So let's pick maybe this one. So let's pick the point um, 0, 1. So we'll substitute that in there. So we'd have um, 1 is less than 0 squared, or 1 is less than 0, which again, we know that isn't true. So because that point was here, it's inside, and that doesn't make sense, that means we're going to have to shade outside of our parabola. Now to shade in to find our final answer, we only want to shade in the regions in our graph that satisfy both of those. So it's only the regions that are both above that line and outside the parabola. So there's two regions that satisfy that. There's this one up here, and there's this one, big one over this side. The last thing that we need to consider is whether these points of intersection are included in those regions or not. The only time that they are included is if both of our curves were drawn with solid lines. Because this one's drawn with a dotted line, that means that any point on that boundary is not included in that region. So these points of intersection need just to circle around them, an open circle, to show that they're not included. So that's a few examples of sketching regions in the number plane.